Now, remember this from the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. The giant mechanical ball was one of the stars of the show, but it was due to be dismantled and recycled at the end of the Games. However, thousands of people signed an online petition to save it, and now the ball is here to stay. It'll be in the central square until the end of September before an indoor home is found for it. A student from Surrey has been left paralysed from the knee down after she was attacked by a bison in the US. Amelia Dean was on the second day of her gap year in South Dakota when the animal charged at her, tearing her femoral artery. Her parents have flown from their home in Brockham to be by her side and are now trying to fundraise the £140,000 needed to transfer her to a specialist centre. And a man's being treated in hospital after being shot by police in southeast London. Armed officers were sent to Creek Road in Deptford at 2.30 this afternoon after reports of a man with a gun. The incident has been referred to the police watchdog. More than 1,600 London bus drivers are set to go on strike later this month in a dispute over pay. Workers employed by London United will walk out on the 19th and 20th of August, affecting routes in South and West London. They're also the same days as strike action on London Underground and on the railways.